Hello and welcome to a little so crafty beginner. So I'm coming on today because I have been making some Christmas cards for the lovely Sylvia Costello. Uh, she's here on YouTube. I think she's recently changed her name so she's no longer Crafty Lady. She's Arts and Crafts Lady. I think I will link her channel down below. Please go over and subscribe to her. She does tutorials on using the gel jelly plates um, and she makes some the most incredible papers. I absolutely love her papers. Um, I'm not sure about a gel plate in my house because it does involve using a lot of paint and I have two little ones so it would be absolutely everywhere if they ever got their hands on it so that'll probably be something for a few years down the line when they're a lot older but the Christmas cards that I made um, now I started off with just four <laughs> so these were the four that I made to start off with and this little one but because I wasn't posting until next week well technically this is the weekend but Monday now um, I decided to go and make a few more cards for her so these were the extras that I made just because I was just sitting doing nothing one night and I figured I might as well just make one. Um, so this was the last one I made. Um, this is the one that I made last night. So it's an um, I used an embossing folder around the outside, and then I got this stamp and a magazine. I used a wee red bow. Now the stamp that I used, I tried stamping it in just red and the red ink wasn't working properly so I tried stamping it in gold ink and my gold ink wasn't working properly so I figured I'd try stamping both inks together so I stamped the red hang on I'll take it out of its bag so I stamped the red ink first and then I stamped over the top of it with the gold ink and it gives a nice shine to it because the gold's metal a metallic gold whereas the red was just a, a plain red and then once I'd finished it I put all these wee gems round just on the bows just to make it stand out a wee bit more so that's that's my last one that I've done um, I did these three. Now you'll have seen that I got this in my, Al uh, my Aldi, Lidl, I think it was Lidl. Um, so I got these at Lidl. Uh, like I said in the last video I thought it was uh, like a whole card making pack. I didn't realise it was just cards in it. So <laughs> I didn't know what to do with this Santa one. So Obviously, because the Santa one's absolutely gorgeous as it is. He's all glittered. I didn't really want to do too much to it. So I just added this tag up the top and some of these puffy presents. Um, I can't remember who sent me these. It came in... So this is the set here that I used from and I think it was Wendy Laurie sent me the, this set if I'm remembering correctly I'm pretty sure it was Wendy Laurie who sent me them so I've just used the presents at the bottom of this one I used one present and one stocking with a ho 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 and then on this one, I moved the sentiment down here and I used the two stockings up here. So that's those three. 
Um, this one, I made this one when my the boiler was getting fixed. So the guy was in fixing my boiler and I was absolutely bored out of my brains, couldn't do anything because he had to switch off the electricity and so I didn't really have anything to do. So what I did was I made this card. Now this is the Christina Griffin Christina Griffin's card make, making magic. Um, so what I've done is I've die cut. I've actually die cut it into the card. I've backed it with this blue because it's the same blue that's on the Merry Christmas. And then I use some blue holographic paper for this one. Um, before I send it away, I might think about putting some wee mini gems on this one now. Just because this one looks much better with the wee gems on it. So I'm thinking that I might add some of the wee gems to this one as well. But we'll have a play around and see what it looks like. So, And I really, really liked how this one's turned out. Unfortunately, my die cutting machine, it took about eight times going through the die cutting just to cut this out. It just refused to cut out. It cut part of one end and then part of the other end, wouldn't cut the middle. So I ended up having to like layer paper, printer paper, folding it and layering it on top of the actual... So I had the cutting mat, my card, the die, and then I had paper, folded paper, and then my cutting plate on top of it. But I had to keep moving the paper around so that it would keep basically die cut the parts that were not cutting so that took a while but the the Merry Christmas die that cut out first time and so did its back in that cut out first time so I absolutely love those two um, this one this might be one that I only use when I get my Gemini which is what I'm going to be investing in after Christmas because my die cutting machine, I have broke it. Now this is the third time I've broke it. Um, so it doesn't turn properly, it doesn't rotate properly and you have to keep rotating it one way and then having to rotate it the other way if it like catches and then rotating it again to try and get it to go through. So it's a nuisance now because I have broke it so many times. But I really, really like how this card's turned out and hopefully next year I will have the patience to do more of this one because I just absolutely love that. I think that's gorgeous. And these are the original four that I was just going to send over. I was only going to send over four. So I got this. Um, so we... decoupage set so I layered them up I have missed some of them out so I've used one three and five because I think it would have made it far too big if I'd have used all seven no wait how many was there eight yeah there was eight layers and the foam pads I was using were a wee bit thicker than the thinner ones because I didn't have any of my wee thin ones left so I figured I'd just use, and I put the wee sentiment on. I've rounded the card as well. And I think that just makes an absolute cute wee dinky card. I love that one. This one, I've got a big massive pad with these in it. Um, all these... Uh, cut apart and you arrange them however you want so this is how and I used some of this 
It was wrapping paper. It's got a wee copper foil um, and it's slightly got a worn look to it which I thought looked really really nice. So I used that for that one. And I have a box cards, Christmas box cards. So I made up two of these but these were an absolute pain to make. <laughs> So I have only made up to, there's like 12 in the pack and because when you pulled, they're all supposed to be cut apart but when you pulled them off it left all these wee tiny tabs going all the way around everything so I had to take scissors to go all the way around, it even on the card as well, I had to go all the way around the card to take off all these wee tiny tabs. These stars were a nightmare to cut out because the, the pad literally joined all of these up with just paper. Um, so I ended up having to fussy cut all of these out up to the cord just so that you could see that beautiful frame in the background. But I absolutely love how these have turned out. So... I will probably do some more, but it'll probably be just like one at a time. So it'll be like one every month after Christmas because it is really fiddly and I did end up hurting my fingers quite a bit trying to fussy cut all the wee tab things that were going all the way around. But that is all of my Christmas cards that I have made for the lovely Sylvia. Um, this is for Sylvia's challenge, um, she wanted you to make some Christmas cards for her so that she could hand them in to a charity um, or the hospital. Oh my goodness, I cannot remember. Um, I am so, so sorry Sylvia, I cannot remember why you were asking for... It is a charity thing, um, so... These are my Christmas cards for her and I hope she likes them. Please go over and subscribe to Silver if you're not already subscribed. And please let me know down in the comments what you think about my Christmas cards. And thanks for watching everyone. Bye.